One third of our global population is actually dependent for food on our oceans and seas. The environmental problems associated with the commercial fishing in Europe are catching other species than what's intended or catching uh, larger amounts than what the fish populations can sustain. We have to look at something beyond fishing because I don't think that the fish populations of the world can sustain the increased demand that we'll be seeing in the next decades. We can meet demand for fish in Europe without damaging fish stocks and the environment. We need marine protection areas where fish stocks can replenish, good management of fisheries, but also sustainable aquaculture production. Problems that are associated with aquaculture right now are unsustainable feed ingredients, choosing the wrong spot in the ocean, which creates all kinds of problems with runoff. Escapees of farmed fish and release of parasite sea lice from the fish farms to uh, the wild populations. If you do it sustainably, you'll have a better quality product, you won't have to worry about the future, and you'll make the same or even better financial returns. European consumers can really help spark more sustainable aquaculture activity by always asking where the fish comes from and if the answer is farmed, to ask what farm did it come from, what did my fish eat, how was it grown. Through the certification and labeling program, we try to encourage consumers to choose responsible aquaculture. So certification of fisheries is all about managing the fish stock, managing the byproducts, managing the impact on the ecosystem and the management of the fisheries. Whereas for the farm, it's all about the impact on the natural surroundings, the impact on water quality, the impact on the fish health, and the impact through the use of feed. If consumers choose products with the logo, they can be assured the product comes from a certified farm. And that's how we try to look after the environment and we look after the people that depend on it. It's through the demand and it's through the requirements in the supply chain that actually uh, producers think, hey, I can sell my products if I meet these requirements. Aquaspark is an investment entity uh, that exists for the sole purpose of showing that truly sustainable, healthy and affordable aquaculture is possible with the same financial returns as more traditional industry. Our aquaculture is operating in open waters with open net pens, which means that feces from the fish and nitrogen and phosphorus is going out in the environment. And we have been discussing a lot of how to catch these resources and at the same time reduce our footprint. Ocean Forest is a company run by salmon farms. Seaweed is an absorber of phosphorus and nitrogen and carbon dioxide. By growing seaweed next to the fish farm, we are improving the water quality around that fish farm. The seaweed is harvested for human consumption, so in that way we also make a profit out of this activity. We do believe that farming fish is the future due to the declining stock of, for example, wild halibut. Song Aqua, we only produce halibut and we are producing this in land-based fish farms. The water is pumped from the deep of the fjord and into the tanks. We're taking clean, stable water from the depths of the Songa Fjord at 100 meters because we don't have to treat the water very much and it's stable also when it comes to temperature. Fish farming can be very sustainable if we build our sites with organic or recyclable materials that makes small or no footprints. Sustainability is always good for business because you increase the animal welfare, you increase the growth rate of the fish, and also you increase the reputation of your business.